To fit the Maxway, simply follow these steps. Detach both tether straps from the seat. Attach the loop end of the straps to suitable anchorage points in the car. Some cars do not have special brackets like these, so please refer to the product user guide for details on alternative fixing methods for the straps. Check the seat's recline position. The smaller the child, the more reclined the seat must be. To change the position, slide the support leg out until it engages in the desired position. To slide the support leg in, push the two adjuster buttons and pull up the support leg. Place the seat rearward facing in the car. It must not rest against the front seat. Lower the foot prop so that it is within 30 mm of the floor, making sure the straps are not twisted and the tether brackets face forward. Fasten the hooks onto the two metal brackets on the back of the seat and pull the tether straps to temporarily tighten. Open both lock-off arms, pull back the cover and feed the seat belt through the belt guide and slot, behind the crotch strap and down through the slot on the other side of the seat. Feed the seat belt through the belt guide and fasten into the buckle. Pull the seat belt tight, feeding the slack through the seat, ensuring the belt is not twisted. When the belt is as tight as possible, close the lock-off arms on both sides of the seat. Now check the position of the seat belt buckle, ensuring it is the seat belt and not the seat belt buckle holding the seat in place. If the seat belt cannot be correctly tightened, try fitting the seat in another seating position in the car. Tighten the tether straps until the foot prop touches the floor. The foot prop must rest on a solid floor and the seat must not rest against the front seat. Finally, check the installation is firm and secure. When in use, place your child's arms through the shoulder straps, making sure they are correctly positioned over your child's shoulders. Bring the two buckle tongues together so that they interlock and fasten into the buckle until you hear a click. Adjust the shoulder straps, ensuring there are no twists, and pull the harness tight with the adjuster strap. Double check that the harness is tightened enough so that you can still fit no more than two fingers underneath. This will ensure your child is comfortable and secure.